Patrick, thank you for coming to camp. My name is Thad Johnson with ABC, and we're going to look at your video here today and talk about a couple different things. Um, the first thing that uh, you know we're going to go into and in watching and in watching your video here, we're going to talk about the you know the the initial uh, balance position and and really you know in in looking at what you do, you definitely get into a solid a solid balance position. You know, do a lot of the work over the rubber. I, I really like when we when I talk to my guys, I like to see them. You know, when you talk about being being a good position, having the majority of their body, um, you know, over the rubber, over their foot. You're slightly you're slightly uh, left of center or right of center, being left-handed. However, you know, you you do definitely look to be in a a solid position. Um, one thing to consider is when you lift, when you lift your leg, okay, a lot of people call it a leg kick. I like to say a leg lift. Um, and, and what this, what this will do, if you can think about it being a lift, you are, you're not going to kick your foot and, and it appears here, you know, focus on your, on your foot here. It, it appears that you, you may be, you may be just kicking it kicking it up will, which will cause a, a cause a lack of balance um, you want to try to create simple movements so go ahead and focus on on just lifting your leg as opposed to kicking your leg to that balance point um, the you know and, and one in one drill that you can just work on is just a simple lift a lift balance drill where you just you know do a, a series of, of leg lifts um, you can do it with your eyes closed. It, it tends to help guys, you know, really start to feel their body work. And, and, and again, it's a controlled lift. And the speed will vary. Um, you can play around with your speed of your lift. But uh, moving on, moving on to your your direction, um, the one one thing, when you start to move towards home plate, okay, obviously there's a catcher sitting in front of you, home plate's in front of you. Everything wants to stay in line. And the first thing that I notice, the first thing that I notice is, is your leg and your front foot, which would be your, your right leg. Um, this line right here, your right leg is going to want to land fairly close to this line, ideally on, on top of it with a toy, toe pointed towards home plate, towards your catcher. And as you can see, your direction is more in a left to right area. As you as you move forward, you're really opening up early. Now, what this is going to cause you to do is is have left to right action, you know, in your delivery as opposed to back to forward. And and pitching, you know, you need to think pitching is all about lines, lines to home plate, uh, being as efficient efficient as possible with your delivery, so everything is going in one direction. The less movement you have left to right. Okay, and what your body's doing, the, the, a lot, it's, it just makes it a lot easier on your brain to, to work and, and tell your body parts what to do, which is, which is obviously with your hand. So your, your hand right now wants to move forward, but your body wants to move you know, to the right. So you're kind of fighting yourself. And as you can see when you land, you know, your, foot, your foot is in a good placement or is in a good uh, position. However... Your foot's in a good position. Your toes pointed forward, but you can see. I mean, we got a you got a big time, a big time distance issue here, or the big time issue just with where your how much further your foot is to the right than it you know it needs to be a little a lot more to the left. Um, so, you know, a drill that that you could you could use in in doing dry work day in and day out. You know, a lot of a lot of pitching is is very boring in in regards to, you know, working at the craft. But you know, doing dry work where you work on your delivery and you can take that balance drill and then you take it to the next step of of stepping and what I call a, a T line and and really what you got here and what I'll do is I'll draw a. A T line. So in a in a in a practice setting, you can get on dirt, and you've got your mound, okay, or your your T, the top of the T, and then you've got your direction line, which would be where your where your toe or you know middle of your foot would be. 
and where you want to land. Okay, so you, you draw these you draw these lines in the dirt, and you, basically you just go through and you work on stepping on that line. You know, go through your delivery, the dirt. You're going to make marks in the ground, and you're going to be it's going to be an immediate feedback where you can just work your whole delivery through the T line. So you finish, and you go ahead and, and you just you look down at your feet and you go, hey, I need to move it over to the left two, three inches. Now, this is definitely something that you're not going to be able to fix overnight, um, and but it, it just takes constant work. You know, I mean, it, we'll, we'll do this at the, at the college level. Um, we'll do our, our guys work on this, cons you know, constantly every day, you know, 10, 15 minutes of dry work working on different parts of the delivery and, and striding open or striding across their body is one of the major, you know, issues that, that I think a lot of pitchers have, and they just need to constantly work on, on, you know, stepping in the right spot. Again, it makes, it makes your, um, it, it makes it a lot easier on your brain to tell your, your body what to do when you have small, simple movements. Okay. You get out to a release right here. And one thing to note, you're in a, you're in a great position. Your head is level. Your head is, your head is level. I really look, you know, look for guys that aren't leaning over to their, to their glove side. You haven't lost your, your glove is nice and tucked to the body which is another another thing we look for with our pitchers to see if they've maintained you know maintained good posture at release you know when a lot of guys talk about being balanced at the top of the delivery at the balance point and and you know there's also a balance issue that we look for you know at release of the baseball and again you 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 uh you do a great job here Patrick of of maintaining that posture through the delivery and really rotating around your rotating through and around that that land leg get some rid of some of these circles and again you know you, you talk about you know kind of a something that you can you can rotate around and you look once you get out to that release point you stay nice and stable your head and your foot's on line and your body and and I know it's a little difficult here with the camera moving, but it is, it's definitely something that, you know, you, you look for with guys on their finish just to make sure that they, uh, they're nice and upright on their finish. You know, your follow through is good. You have, you have a great, great extension with the, with your throwing hand and your finish is nice and nice and long. Uh, you get all the way back, back behind your, you know, you're, you're doing a slap. You're almost slapping your, your backside or your, your right pocket, um, on your finish, which is, which is a, a thing that I tell our guys to do is, is on your, on your release of the baseball, get through the baseball, create, create some hand speed through the baseball and get, get long, get through the ball and, and really tell them to slap. And as you, as you can see, if your hand were to travel, you know, another foot, you'd be slapping yourself in the back pocket, which is excellent. Um, you know, this is a, from an injury standpoint, this is something we look for. Guys that recoil their arm and, and stop their arm right after release will tend to have shoulder elbow problems. So this is, this is something that you do very, very well. I want to back this up and, and talk to you a little bit more about when you release your hands. Okay, this is going to be a little bit, a little bit harder for you to work on, a little bit harder to change, just because when guys break their hands, what they do in the back side of their delivery, which the back side of their delivery is is anywhere, you know, anywhere, anywhere that happens back in this area. This is where, this is where this be, you know, this is where some, you know, you, you kind of develop your your arm circle over time, and, and the older you get, the harder it is to change. But if you look, you look at your ball right here, you you know, pitchers need to create whip with their hand, okay, and with their wrist, and you are already in a throwing position, which is going to force you to shot put the baseball, and creating arm speed, hand speed in this position right here is is very very difficult to do. Uh, I'd like to see, you know, the hand, 
I'd like to see the hand be somewhere down in this area right here, okay, creating kind of a loose, a loose wet newspaper like noodle like you know arm circle, and the ball really should be um, you know pointed pointed down, okay, if you can point the baseball down down in this area, you'll be able to pick it up, and as you pick it up, your arm will you know it'll bend it'll turn the wrist will become looser and you'll be able to really whip the ball through and if you watch if you watch you never really have a a whip action that that ball never moves it just stays and you rotate your front side and, and you'd really like to see that that arm lay down and, it, and again this is just caused because it's it's a stiff you know you have a stiff kind of takeaway out of your glove but all in all, Patrick, um, you know you do a pretty good you do a pretty good job with your delivery. You know you, you look like you, you know you're in a good good balance positions. You have a great feel for you know for pitching. Um, you know and ultimately at the point of release when you release the baseball, you are in a very sound position. And, and I feel like you know just because you do that well, you're going to have a lot of success in this game. Um, and to just re, you know, reiterate, reiterate some of the uh, some of the points we talked about here today. Um, on on lift, you wanna you wanna lift your leg. You don't wanna kick it, okay? When you break your hands, I'd like you to just be a little bit longer with your with your throwing hand, not so stiff and quick. Just let it kind of dangle behind you and then pick it up fast, okay? You know, your, your glove is in a great position when you stride out. Again, you want to stride out in line. You can practice the T-line drill. And continue on with your follow-through, which is what you do very, very well. You're in a great sound position and, and finish in the delivery. So balance, direction are really your two, two issues that you need to work on. I want to uh, thank you for coming to camp and hope to see you out there again sometime.